Hello everyone and welcome to the July 16th, 2017 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions. What's on the celestial agenda for July 16th to July 23rd and beyond? On Tuesday, July 11th, Mars left Gemini and entered Cancer. In Vedic astrology, Mars is considered debilitated in Cancer, meaning that some of the worst traits of the planet of aggression and conflict are displayed in this sign. Cancer is the emotional sign of the moon, so we can easily imagine where this could go. By entering Cancer, Mars again joins up with Mercury, which had escaped from Mars when it entered Cancer back on July 2nd. Mars distorts the significations of Mercury, the planet of conflict, combined with the planet of communications, results in arguments. The planet of disputes, combined with the planet of data and information, results in spin, disinformation, controversy, fights in the media, and so forth. Making matters a bit worse this week will be the problematic square aspect of Uranus and Mars, which will be exact on Monday, July 17th, when the two planets are at four degrees in their respective signs. Also, since Uranus is in Aries, a sign ruled by Mars, its disruptive energy is being transferred to Mars. In other words, Mars is acting like Uranus. Mars is the planet of war and destruction. Uranus is sudden unexpected events. A negative square relationship with Uranus can result in something violent. The Sun, meanwhile, has joined up with Mars, putting two naturally fiery planets together for even more energy. Note, too, that today, Sunday, July 16th, the Moon enters Aries, becomes conjunct Uranus, and thus powers up the Uranian side of the pattern with even more potential for causing events on Sunday and Monday. Then, on Thursday, July 20th, Mercury changes signs, leaving Cancer and entering Leo. Mercury gets some relief by entering Leo because it now separates from its enemy Mars, which is left behind in Cancer. Also, Leo is a more stable sign for Mercury compared to being in Cancer. The planet of rational thinking functions well in the philosophical sign of kings, leaders, and royalty. But immediately there's a problem. Mercury encounters Rahu, the north node of the moon, in other words, an eclipse point, which is hanging out in the first degree of Leo. This combination can manifest in a number of ways. Mercury is communication, therefore the media. Rahu, as an eclipse point, obscures or distorts the meanings of what it combines with. Rahu also has the energy of great desire, of obsession, and therefore urgency. Mercury is the planet of making decisions, and therefore voting. So, for instance, we have the Republican health care bill, which some would dearly love to see passed, and others are adamantly opposed to, creating an urgent situation. There are other dramatic events waiting in the wings for development. For example, the ongoing troubles of the President of the United States, who, by the way, has his natal Mars in the early degrees of Leo, meaning that the Mercury-Rahu conjunction will stimulate his naturally Mars-combative nature. Mercury will spend an extra long time in Leo because, starting in August, Mercury will go through a three weeks long retrograde period. 
Mercury finally leaves Leo and enters Virgo, its own sign, on September 26th. On Sunday, July 23rd, there will be a new moon at 6 degrees Cancer. This new moon is notable for being in near exact conjunction with Mars, the planet of action and conflict, which sets the tone for the coming lunar month. This marks the beginning of the Hindu lunar month of Shravana, named for the nakshatra, the lunar sign, of the full moon, which will be on August 7th in Capricorn. The symbol of Shravana is the human ear, and therefore hearing. So, it's a sign very much connected to information and communication, and therefore the media again. Note that Mars, which was conjunct the moon at the beginning of the month, the birth of the month, is again featured in the chart of the full moon. Thus, this lunar month will have a strong Mars flavor to it. Lots of action, lots of conflict. Since the downside of Shravana, which is about the listening, is gossip, with Mars present, we can expect lots of juicy, vicious gossip. Okay, so that's it for this week, and now a little reminder that I do have a family to feed. If you appreciate what this YouTube channel does for you, please help keep it and me going by visiting the donation page and making a contribution. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here. Thanks, and until next week.